All right, Kell Brook wants to use Amir Khan as a tune-up for Conor Ben. And if you really think about it, Amir Khan is a perfect opponent for a tune-up for Conor Ben. Now, do I feel Amir Khan is a tune-up for anybody? No. Amir Khan is still a dangerous opponent. Yeah, he's chinny, but Amir Khan still has very fast hands. He still has a little bit of power, fast feet, and he's still the former champion, and he still can beat your average fighter in this sport, you know? Um, Amir Khan has only lost to elite fighters in his career. So it's not like Amir Khan is out here losing to bums and shit like that. The same shit with Kell Brook. He had only lost to elite fighters. We all know this shit. So this fight right here is perfect. Grudge match. You know somebody's going to get knocked out in this fight. That's right. This fight right here ain't going the distance. Either man can go this fight. I feel like Khan got the power, the speed to hurt Kell Brook. And I'm going to also say this. He could definitely cut Kel. Because like I always tell you guys in the past, Kel cuts easily. And I, we, come on. We all can see Kel stopping Amir Khan. That goes without saying. But don't get it twisted. Like Amir Khan can't stop Kel. But I'm going to go ahead and stop talking about that. Because that's not what this video is about. It's not a prediction video. This is just Kel Brooks' mindset. And him going after the younger lion, Connor Ben. And Amir Khan brings a perfect... I can see why he's looking at Amir Khan like a tune-up. Because he brings the perfect style. The hand speed. A little bit of power. Um, shit. And Connor throws a lot of punches. Hand speed. Just like Amir Khan. So, Kel got great timing. Good accuracy. A good jab. So, I could see him possibly beating both of these guys, man. A lot of people feel like Connor not ready for Kel. He just may not be ready for Kel. And Kel, bigger than Amir Khan, stronger than Amir Khan, got a better chin than Amir Khan. I could see Kel being the favorite in this fight, most definitely. And if Kel can beat Amir Khan and then beat Connor Ben, that definitely rejuvenates his career. And Kel will definitely be back for another title shot, y'all. Now, can Kel beat Connor? I really don't know, man. Connor Ben has a little bit of power, magnificent hand speed, but Connor may be too green for Kel. That's my concern for Connor. But Kel, on the other hand, he brings everything. The only thing about Kel is I just feel like he's a little past it. Some people feel Kel is washed up. And Kel is always going to be that doubt in the back of his head if. He gets really cut, especially around the eye area. But Connor, on the other hand, it really surprised me that he didn't at least drop Adrian Ganados. You know, if you got real power, you could at least drop Adrian. You was throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Adrian. Didn't really hurt the man. So it's like, I don't really think that power is where it should be, in my opinion. So Kel could take advantage of that. That's my thoughts. I'm out.